This is Rogue Wing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over the Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, this will likely be the final little bit before we do the final reveal. But, at this point, CW has markings. On the top, I went ahead and used the darker gray ones. Used some of the kit markings to help authenticate, if you will, the uh, fact she works as an aircraft for the uh, for a top secret government organization. On the bottom, I decided the dark gray logos were too dark. So I thinned out the, I decanted some primer and thinned it, painted over the lower decals to make them less prominent. Next stage is at this point will be an attempt to, or final attempt, to fill the cockpit windows and do a little bit of weathering on her. She's going to be fairly well maintained, but there will be some weathering on her. And that's where we sit right now. Okay, I lied. There's going to be one more before we do the final reveal. Why? Because it worked. Putting it simply, I now have windows in the cockpit. I had tried filling them with resin. I'd even tried packing tape. Now, admittedly, there's a bit of a dip in this window, which I'm hoping I can clear up when I seal it with some future. But what I've done using a technique actually suggested by Bad Grendel's to another builder on Scale Model Attic is I've actually taken clear decal film, cut it to shape, and put it over the window openings. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's a dang sight better than the open windows. Good evening, and here we are. <laughs> Did just a little bit of weathering, mostly on the RCS ports and on the engines. But at this point, we're basically going to call the Change Wind 1 Omega 7 Tau build finished. It's a little dark in here. Went in. And using, let's zoom that back out. Using uh, Vallejo smoke, I dry brushed all the RCS thrusters, mostly just to accent that they've been used. I also did the same thing with the engines, as well as. Back here along the hull where the exhaust from the engines would actually strike the plate. Did the same thing on the bottom. Turn that off now. Ah, that's better. Especially around the VLS thrusters. As well as, I don't know how well it's going to show up in this light. As well as a little bit on the main gear where they'd catch backwash from the thrusters. Weathering on the nose thrusters shows up a lot better on the bottom. Of course, they're probably used a lot more often because this thing lifts off vertically more often than it does any other way. Gee, think, figure landing skids. Again, I want to thank Grendel's, John Forsyth. For the tip on 
using decal film to fill in the windows. He didn't actually give me the tip, but it was a suggestion I heard he gave and I took it to heart. As usual, I'll throw some stills of the finished model at the end of this. I want to thank you all for watching. It's time to clear the bench for the next one.